Hello everybody, my name is Christian Aldo and welcome to The Plastic General. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out a giant 135th scale German submarine and its crew and they're going to be hunting a British merchant marine vessel and introducing its crew also. Sound exciting? Let's go to naval war. Fire! People always ask me, Christian, if you could have anything in 132 scale, what would you want? And I said I always wanted a 132 scale German Type 7 U-boat, but no one's ever produced it. But luckily for me, Bronco, about eight years ago, produced a 135th scale Type 23 German coastal U-boat, and here it is. Vroom, bum, 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 vroom. It's awesome and it's big. So comparatively, this was a smaller U-boat compared to a Type 7, but the Type 23, it had a, um, a 15 or 14 person crew. And uh, let's take a little look around this boat. So here's the front. Up front, we have the torpedo tubes. These open up. You can see the torpedo tubes in there. And up top, we have the, we have the conning tower. And you can see that there's, there's the, uh, the hatch to get inside the U-boat. And uh, this would be the loading bay for like loading, a uh, fueling and loading supplies. And back here is the, the movable propeller. Now, even though this is 135th, guys, if this is 132, it would just be maybe a few inches longer. So this is pretty damn good and very compatible with 132. Now, this is it. This is all you get. But that would never stop the Plastic General. So I decided what I was going to do was I was going to very carefully, because I built this, I knew what it looked like on the inside, I made some very careful cuts, and this thing sort of held that thing on the top there. And th this thing was glued on there, so I made these cuts, and then I designed it so it could be pulled off, and I gave it an interior. And it had the, the, the tube construction, and so um, it comes with torpedoes, so I took advantage of that by opening that up and then by just using you know leftover airplane parts and tank parts uh, I created a full interior including let's get in there nice and deep including a uh, what's it called periscope you have the periscope here and then you have different control panels and like like pressure gauges and um and like oxygen tanks so, in order to make this work and get more exciting, I created a 132 scale crew from 21st Century Toys and Forces of Valor Panzer tank crews. This is how I did it. So, as I said before, I created these figures from Panzer tank crews from 21st Century Toys or Forces of Valor, and you might even recognize them. Uh, the tank commander here with the white hat, he was created from a Forces of Valor crew member, and I just, I did some alterations on him. Um, this figure here is from 21st Century Toys. And so you, you know, this uh, one figure is wearing a life jacket, and he's got one of those giant oversized binoculars, and the other guy is the, uh, the U-boat commander. Poses three and four. We have a figure... Uh, talking into some sort of um, uh, microphone or communications device. And this other figure, it will be the guy designed to look into the periscope. I can hear the music from Das Boot now. And figures five and six, I created a, uh, a communications figure um, sitting on a, uh, a chair 
operating equipment. And this guy would have been the the U-boat engineer with his with his um, his sort of like rubber or or leather outfit with his long coat and uh, and and waterproof pants and jacket. Now let's see how they all work in the U-boat. Okay, so the first figure is the commander. So let's put him up here on the conning tower, looking with his binoculars. So the second figure would be a, com uh, a, a second commander uh, pointing out a, uh, a lone convoy ship out on the horizon. Now, come on down here inside of the hall. So we have this one figure and he's operating some equipment. So here he is here, the communications. And then now we have a, a guy speaking into like a, a little communications device here. And uh, let's say he'd be here. Now, um, the torpedoes, let's push this one in, like that one's getting ready to fire, but this one's pulled out a little bit more. So we have the engineer with his coveralls. And, and I made, I had thin pieces of polystyrene and I just glued them to the body to create this fake coat. And so he's here working, doing something with the, uh, with the torpedo. And then finally, we have a, another officer here and he's working, uh, he's looking into the periscope. And so there he is there. So if you're going to have a U-boat, you have to have something for the U-boat to hunt. So here we have the British Merchant Marine supply ship. So, yes, of course, it seems a little bit under, undersized, but it's okay. It's a cargo ship from the British Merchant Marine. Anyway, um, this was created by Play, Playmobil, which is like a little kid's toy, but, you know, I love to... Uh, I love to take kids' toys and make them into big boys' toys, and that's what this is. Now, here's the really fun thing about it. Uh, what I did is I painted the hull gray, spray because it was some goofy red color. But come on up here. This is really cool. I took a um, an Orlick, I think it's called an Orlick uh, anti-aircraft gun, and I put them on top here just for protection. But this is the coolest part. You remove, you remove the hull to reveal the cargo, the cargo hold. Now, every time you buy Forces of Valor, you get tons of these barrels and and crates and and, and like and, and and jerry cans and stuff and and there's really nothing to do to do with them most of the time. So I decided to just stockpile them and put them in my ship as the as the cargo hold. And then also there is a bridge that you can open up and pop off, and, um, and there's the command center of the bridge. So in the end, this is a really fun, it's a really fun merchant marine cargo ship. So if you have a merchant marine British cargo vessel, you're going to need Royal Navy figures. So Italeri released a seven-post set of British Royal Navy. Uh, they are 135th scale, which is a minor, minor, minor difference than 132. But since they'll never be used in combat, uh, you'll never notice the 2 millimeter difference. So first off, we have a, uh, a British commander wearing the heavy naval coat. And we have an officer here with a, with a flashlight. I painted them. With my usual policy, it's the good enough policy. Poses three and four are kind of like um, British uh, just doer figures. Guys just doing, doing whatever you want him, them to do. Uh, one guy's motioning something and he seems to be covering, motioning to his mouth or something. And the other guy's just doing something with his hands. 
but they're still very useful poses. They could be operating machinery or, or doing whatever you need them to do. This figure here is also wearing a life jacket. Poses five and six, you have another figure wearing a life jacket, and this particular character is wearing is holding a ammunition box, feeding some ammunition to an anti-aircraft gun. And last, and last, we have a seated figure, and um, this character would be operating an anti-aircraft gun, preferably in a seated position. So there they are, all seven poses, and now I'm going to show you how they work so well with the cargo ship. So this particular ship has lost its way uh, from the convoy and is now nervously making its way across the Atlantic in fear that it's being stalked by a German U-boat, which it is. So let's, let's man this thing here. So we have the commander. Um, let's put the commander inside of the command station. And he's talking about something, doing something. And then this guy will be sort of driving, steering the ship. And the hood goes on there. You can see him in the window. This next figure, let's have him manning the anti-aircraft. in this really strange position. He's, um, he's shitting his pants. He knows the enemy's coming, so look what he's doing. Okay, then you have this figure here loading the ammunition, even though it's the, the wrong ammunition drum, but that's okay. Um, you have a figure sort of rushing on deck here, and he has his life jacket on. Uh, we have another figure here motioning the gun, then you have a commander announcing something. Perhaps he's at the front of the ship. Water is freezing. Anyway, um, if you like this episode, um, remember to hit the subscribe button. And, and if you want to be notified about every single episode, please remember to hit the bell, because that's really important is to hit the bell. Anyway, if you have any comments about our episode, or have any requests, any criticisms, any factual mistakes, remember to tell me. And uh my name is Christian Aldo. I'm the Plastic General. And I'll see you next time.